Hello fam, welcome back to Irish Agility, a platform where we simplify Agile, a platform where we strive to break down Agile related concepts to the granular level. So today my goal is to help you interpret a burn down chart. What is a burn down chart? Do we know why we use a burn down chart? Do we know the purpose it serves for a scrum team? So those are some of the questions I'll be answering today. So fam, before we get started, if you're new to this channel, please join the family by hitting the subscription button and most importantly, Turn the notification bell on so that next time I'm dropping a similar content, right? You are automatically notified. So without taking so much time, let's dive straight into the slides I've prepared today. So I prepared three slides for us to go through, right? Slide number one, it just tells us what a burn down chart is. It just shows the team the amount of work that is left to be completed in a given sprint. The amount of remaining work to be completed in a given sprint. That work can be in story points, right? Based on teams that are estimating in story points. It could be in hours, based on teams that are estimating their efforts in hours. So irrespective of what format you use in estimating your work, a burn down chart will help you, will give you that visibility as a team to see how you are progressing towards that sprint, will give you the visibility to see what amount of work you have left to be completed, either in story points or in hours. And I'm going to illustrate both in the upcoming slides. So let's take a look on slide one. So on slide one, right, we have a team that is estimating their work clearly in story points. How do we know that? If you look right here on the y-axis, you can tell it tells us the amount of story points they actually plan. So this particular team might be Team Giant. They actually committed somewhat 46 story points, right, in this given sprint. And right here on the x-axis, it shows us the duration of the sprint. So might be this particular environment that observing somewhere a two two-week sprint right so if they're observing a two week sprint it means that on these gray areas these gray areas this is where they have their weekends and on weekends we don't expect any development work to happen right and we we'll look at how this actually affects the graph what do we mean by the graph right here there are two lines on this chart the first line is this gray line you see right here this is what we call the id line what do we mean by the id line based on the amount of work that this team actually planned these 46 story points jira automatically generated this id line considering that keeping everything constant if this team is working on on a constant pace right keeping everything constant this is what the remaining value line should look like like the id line but we all know in a typical environment in a real life it's very difficult to have a team that has a chart that looks like this id line why because of the unforeseen because of the distractions that happens you know in the real world right so uh, the red line is the remaining if you look right here on the key is the remaining values or the remaining work so what we mean by the remaining work at any given point a scrum master or at any given point when the team looks at this chart they can tell what amount of work is left to be completed so right here this team started with somewhat 46 story points as indicated by this dot if this was on jira as long as you highlight your cursor right here it will show you the amount of points that it started with but right here around january 7 8 9 this was a weekend so no development work was happened so how did it impact this line you can tell there's a flat line so whenever you find a flat line you know no work is being done you, it can either be a weekend maybe it's a holiday that has been observed by that particular organization or that particular environment so when that is happening then you can tell by what by the flat line soon after they return from their weekend right somewhere around january 12th you can tell the vest the very first story here was burned they actually burned towards the id line then somewhere around january 13 they actually burned the second story somewhere between january 17 and 18 right 18 is where they were supposed to close the spring right towards the end of the spring they actually completed all the remaining stories right which is very typical of most scrum teams you, ever, you always find them trying to complete their work towards the end of the spring right so i think if you if we if you had to pick anything out of this chart fam whenever you see a flat line it could either be that 
it's a weekend when the team is not working might be it's a holiday then each time you find a, a a story completed the line will actually burn down towards the id line and what do we mean by completed the story has been fully developed which means the code has been written validation has been done by the qa both unit and system integration test all that has been completed and then the po finally approves that story to meet the definition of done when that happens then the chart will actually burns towards what the id line right if you look at the second graph contrary to the first graph where the other team was estimating their work in story points this other team estimated their work in hours if you look at their y-axis if you look at the total hours that they estimated all their work it came up to somewhere around 250 something hours right so they started their spring right here but as they move into the spring you can see right here where my cursor is you see this graph actually went up it actually spiked up which means there was a scope creep what do we mean by scope creep maybe something was added into the spring when that happens then the graph usually goes up then right back the graph winds down but when the graph winds down it doesn't mean that the computer story points remember this particular team actually plans their work in hours which means they actually lock in their efforts in hours so on a daily basis right based on how much effort they spend on a given story they will come in right here and lock in their efforts in jira when they lock in their efforts in jira and then it's gonna burn right here on this line as we see right so as they are progressing at any given point you can actually come right here and tell the number of hours that is left you can look right here you tell the number of hours that is left you can look right here you tell the number of hours that is left and then this green line shows us the time that has been spent so you can tell the same thing there is so much activity right here towards the end of the spring this when most of the stories is being completed so that's how you can tell so all these clusters of dots are just individual developers logging in their efforts in hours i've also seen teams that actually plan their work in story points right they now go ahead to actually break down their stories into sub tags and when they break down those stories into sub tags they actually go ahead and estimate those sub tags into hours and no you might be asking me why should we estimate in story points then we still go ahead and break down that stories into sub tags to actually allocate hours to them right remember story point is more for what planning purposes but at the end of the day might be some environment they just want to know how many hours are we spending on a given story right so that said they were able to break down those stories into what into sub tabs so that by the time they are completing those sub tabs they can tell how much time how much effort in hours they actually spend on a given story so fam that's just what a burn down chart shows us right so anytime you see a spike up it can actually mean maybe maybe the team actually pick up some new stories right so it's going to show us what we call scope creep if you see if it burns down right if it was a case of story points mean the team actually completed some story points or maybe they actually took out some work out of the sprint which is not usually typical right for scrum teams right so that's just what a burn down chart shows us fam if you found this content useful please like this content right share this content to bless someone else and also watch out for my next uh content that will be on velocity fam if you're looking for a safe scrum master certification feel free to reach out to me right i'll be able to help you master the fundamentals of the safe framework and most importantly if you're just looking to actually you know polish your skills as a scrum master feel free to reach out i'll be able to help you with coaching peace